Today, I will be telling you everything you gotta know about Blitz from the Roblox game Doors. Starting off with fact number one. This is Blitz, isn't he just beautiful? And like with most entities within the game Doors, he is a scary, distorted face. The entities in this game sure do like to smile. And just from a click glare, you can tell the similarities between him and Rush. They look basically identical, kind of like twins or something. But instead of black, he has more of like a green aura to him, with wide beating eyes looking towards your soul and a big old smiley face. But also, Blitz does have a second phase towards him. Instead of the green, he has another phase that's more of a pinkish reddish tone to him, with also the face decal being a little bit more enlargent in this phase. But other than that, they're basically identical from the pink and the green. Next up, fact number two. Not only that Blitz looks like Rush, but he also acts like Rush. Blitz's gameplay is fairly identical to how Rush plays in the normal game, with a few slight twists. If you're playing the back doors and you see the lights flicker, guess what? Just like in the base game, something has spawned. And I'm sure you can assume what spawned, Mr. Blitz. And seconds after that light flicker, Blitz is going to be coming down straight down the hall, looking to murder everyone he comes across. So if you played the game, you know what you do. You go hide in a goddamn locker. Or you're probably going to be dead. Blitz also works on like a ray cast system, just like how Rush does in the game. So yeah, Blitz is basically Rush's cousin through gameplay and appearance wise. Fact number three. Blitz hits really hard, harder than my dad. That's a terrible joke, my dad doesn't hit me, don't worry. Blitz deals 100 damage, meaning if you don't have an overshield, like that little uh, potion you can find, like the little yellow goo potion, um, if you don't have that equipped, you don't have that slug down your uh, esophagus, Mr. Blitz is going to be doing a good old 100 damage and guess what your character has 100 health so uh do some math and 100 negative 100 you're dead gg blitz fact number four for all the og players of doors do you guys remember when there used to be like that vent room before the door plus update and if rush went into that room he would rebound well guess what Blitz does that normally without any type of bug. There's a slight chance for Blitz to come all the way back down the hall after he comes rushing through. That's a good way to die. So uh, make sure you just wait in the locker a couple seconds before he is like definitely gone gone because that's a fate not, not everyone wants. You don't want to die. So uh, be careful. And there's even a smaller chance that he can rebound twice, but that's extremely unlucky, but uh, it can happen. Blitz is kind of like that middle ground between rush and ambush with Ambush being able to rebound six times at the max and Rush being able to rebound, well, zero times. Used to be once, but now it's zero. But yeah, it's Blitz is kind of like the middle ground baby of the two. Is Blitz Ambush's and Rush's baby? That is a rabbit hole I do not want to go down. Fact number 5 yv The main gameplay loop of the back door is running to room to room to room, finding levers to get you more time. But if the game thinks you have too much time, it will actually force Blitz to spawn more and more. With a little twist, Blitz will start camping you for an excess period of time when you're hiding in a locker. This is a way that the game balances out the time difficulty within the game. So if you get really lucky and find three different levers in like a very small period of time and you have like over three minutes of excess time to beat the game well guess what blitz is going to be camping you for a very long time and i thought campers and phantom forces were bad let alone blitz fact number sixy wixy in the normal game of doors when rush spawns and hits a door he will actually open that given door if it's not locked by a lock but blitz on the other hand will not open any doors so if blitz ends up spawning and runs through a door guess what he's not going to be in nice gentleman and open that door for you kind of rude in my opinion i think red able should definitely cheat uh, blitz some manners he's not very a gentleman in my opinion but hey i'm not gonna tell you how to raise your kids all right another reason why uh, rush is better than blitz lucky number seven the exact moment you see light flickering and you hear Blitz's sound across the map, just go hide in a locker, make your life easy, because guess what? There is no hide in the back doors. So you can hide in a locker as long as you need to without the fear of being pushed out and getting mauled by Blitzy Boy. And even if he passes you, just still hide in there for an extra like three seconds or so, because remember guys, he can rebound. Be careful, fellas. It's pretty easy to beat Blitz in this. Blitz ain't that hard. The true enemy 
in this game is the timer. So that's what we gotta really look out for, all right? Fact number eight. All right, so this is a little silly and I don't know how, how much, I don't know how to put this, how much truth this fact does have, but it is a fact, okay? So at the start of this video, we were talking about the appearance of Blitz and like the decals, how he has a pink and green variant, right? Well, if we go into the Roblox site and look those decals up, the official posted by Elspash, so the ones they use actually in game of Blitz, the decals have a very odd name and it raises a couple questions that probably need to be answered by the devs at one point, but Blitz's green decal is called Rush's brother, Lore, 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 and the pink appearance is named Rush's sister, Lore, Lore, Lore. If you ask me, I don't really think they're siblings. I think it's just like kind of like a meme between the devs, but hey, I don't know. I'm no lore expert. And it raises yet another question. It says the green one is the brother and the pink one is the sister. So does that mean that the green and pink are two separate entities? Is it like Golden Freddy, how it has two souls inside of it? I don't know. I genuinely do not know. And no, I'm not making the green variant and the pink variant different videos. They are the same entity. I refuse to make two different videos on these guys even if they're different entities i don't care just no okay fact number nine Alrighty, boys it's time for some educational facky waxy guys you guys get to learn actually something practical and guess what that is it's language more specifically the german language luskentagen i think that's german if it's not i'm really sorry but a word that is german is blitz the entity that we are telling you facts about blitz blitz is lightning in german fact number 10. so just like many other entities within the game doors before they landed on the name that they use now they had a different variant name that they used in the beta build and in previous builds of the game blitz was simply referred to as drush i'm sure you know why they called it drush because it's g as in green rush as in it's a, basically a clone of rush green rush g rush green rush green rush Fact number 11. Hands down, the easiest way not to die from Blitz is just keeping your eyes out, noticing when he's spawning, and then hiding in a locker. Well, guess what? That is not the only way you can survive him. Yes, you can overheal and take some damage from him, getting a jump scare, but there's also a way preventing you from not taking any damage. Similar just to Rush, if you find a spot within the map where there isn't a direct eye contact with him, well, guess what? You can survive without a closet. Some rooms have like a little side room that you can hide and Blitz will just run right past you and not even give you a second stare. Sometimes there's a big wall that you can hide behind and he'll just run right past you. And other times there's many little rooms that you can find like a little corner in and just pray to God that Mr. Uh, Blitz doesn't see you there. Fact number 12. There is this achievement in game called In Plain Sight. And all you gotta do is survive an entity attack by staying out of its line of sight and not from hiding in a locker. And in the last fact, I did mention that it is possible to have survive Blitz attack from hiding in like a corner, but you can't get this achievement from Blitz for whatever reason. If you don't have this achievement and you survive a Blitz attack by not hiding in a closet, but in some random ass room, you're not getting the achievement. I'm sure this is probably just an oversight and the dev just kind of forgot to add it. At the the end of the day it's not that big of a deal just go get it from the base game from rush or ambush it's probably a lot more easier to do that indoors anyways unlucky 13. all of blitz's sound design is completely ripped off of rush with slight tweaks basically just a little faster here's a side-by-side -side comparison of blitz's sound effects compared to rush's you'll be able to hear the similarities And yet another fact showing you how Rush and Blitz are basically the same. Number 14. This is probably one of the most weirdest things in the entire game that I just don't see any answers to. But for whatever reason, the first time you die to Blitz, the curious light will say this. She said we should call that one Blitz. I don't know who she is. No one else in the community knows who she is. Are they talking about maybe the guiding light? Maybe the guiding light's yapping to the curious light and spreading gossip on who these random ass entities and who just randomly showed up one day? I don't know. I truly don't know. Who do you guys think who she is? Because, uh, 
Maybe you guys can help me fill in the blanks. I appreciate that. Thank you. And of course, if you made it this far, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and watch this video next. You will not be disappointed.